Hello and welcome to our mini tutorial on how to download Sage BusinessWorks product and updates. This tutorial will explain how to access the Sage knowledge base to download any product updates or service packs. First let's go over some tips before downloading BusinessWorks. You can access the download at support.na.sage.com a login is required to download the product. If your password has been reset or your account has just been created, please wait an hour before trying to download the product. The full Sage BusinessWorks product update, and these are the ones that are changing the version number, say like going from 2018 to 2019, must be downloaded and installed on the computer where the Sage BusinessWorks program and data resides. The full product download should never be installed on a client computer. Service packs can be downloaded and installed on any one workstation that uses Sage BusinessWorks. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a live demonstration. To download the current version, we're going to start by going to our knowledge base page at support.na.sage.com. Once we're on this page, we're going to click log on and then log on for downloads and personalized content. You will then be prompted to enter in your username or password. If you are new to the site and not, have not yet signed up for a portal account, you can click sign up for a portal account in which you will be prompted to create your portal login. If you do need to reset your password, you can click reset my password. And you'll be asked for account information such as your email address and then you'll submit that and then you'll be, uh, you'll be sent an email and that email will give you the steps to reset your password. Once you have your login information, you would enter that username and password here on the screen and then click log on. Once you're logged in, you will see a My Downloads option become available. You're going to click on My Downloads and then you're going to choose the Sage product that you wish to download. In this case, it's going to be Sage BusinessWorks. Once the page loads, you'll go under the download section in which you'll see the latest products on the left hand side and then the latest updates or service packs in the center column. For this demonstration, we're going to start by downloading the full product download. This is going to bring you to the knowledge base page with the download links for the, the current product. Download Now uses a download manager. The benefit of using the download manager is it allows you to pause the download of the file and it ensures that you have the most complete download. With direct download you have no option to pause the download but it does not require the use of a, another product in order to download the file where the download now uses a download manager. So we're going to show you both options but first we're going to start with using the download manager. We're going to click download now to start the download manager and it's either going to automatically pop up onto the screen or if it does not because of your browser settings click on the download link in order to start the download. Once the download completes, you will see an option to browse for the folder. This is going to be the folder in which the actual service pack is going to reside. By default, it goes to the download folder, but you can choose any folder you would like to see the file downloaded to. And the download manager allows you to pause the download, so if you needed to run something they needed to have the internet working or you, it was going slow and you wanted to come back to it at a later time you could do that and then allows you to resume it to continue with the download. Once the downloads complete it's automatically gonna go and run the update so you may get a user account control option if so you would go ahead and hit yes 
Then you will receive the window that is starting the extraction of the Sage BusinessWorks 2019 install files. So you're going to go ahead and hit Setup. And now you're ready to begin your installation. Now let's go ahead and look at how to download using Direct Download. We're going to click the Direct Download link. And with that, if you're using Internet Explorer, you'll receive an option down here at the bottom that's asking you if you want to run or save the file. Running the file puts it in your temporary Windows folder and the file will disappear once it's complete. If you want to choose to save the file, you can ch click the option to save, which is going to default it to your download folder, or you can choose save as, which allows you to choose a different location to save the file to. So in this case, if you wanted to download it to your desktop, you could download the file to that location and then hit save and it's going to begin the download of the file. Once the download's complete, you can hit the option for run to open full or open the folder. Opening the folder will take you directly to the file that you downloaded and then you can double click it. Say yes to the user account control message and then again you'll get the extraction screen where you can click set up to actually begin the install. The process for downloading a service pack is exactly the same. You'll select the article that ties to the service pack that you want to install and then when it comes when that article loads you will have two options again the download now or the direct download option both are going to function the same as the full product download the only difference is it's going to be pointing you to a different website one other thing that we'd like to show you on these knowledge base articles is under the related resources section there will always be a link to the release notes the release notes will show you what is included with the release that you just downloaded. So they're always going to be under the attachments and when you click on that it's going to it's going to allow you to open up a PDF document and that PDF document is going to include everything that's included in this release and any previous releases for that version. So if you're looking at the Service Pack 2 release notes that will include everything for Service Pack 2 as well as Service Pack 1 and the 2019 release. And that is it for our demonstration on how to download say, the Sage BusinessWorks product or Service Packs. Thank you for viewing our presentation and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.